What's going on? Nexus Onyx here, and I am back with another review. Today we will be taking a look at the Game of Thrones Nearest Targaryen action figure number 5 in series 1 of the Game of Thrones Legacy Collection. So I haven't been uploading videos lately, mainly because of Band, which started 3 weeks ago, which was about the time that I uploaded my last video, which should have been Pokemon Uncensored. But uh, I have made a few new videos today, which I plan on uploading la uh, later. And. Uh, I'm starting a new series, which you'll see very soon, and I'm currently working on my 1,000 subscriber special. But, moving on from updates, let's take a look at this figure. This item is made by Funko, who also makes pop figures. Okay, first, let's take a look at the box. The box is really nice, I really like it. It really gives a clear distinction from a kid's toy to a collector's item. So, at the top, it has the Game of Thrones logo in plain white. Uh, under it, it has Legacy Collection in a shiny silver lettering. To the right, it shows that it is number 5 in the Series 1 of Legacy Collection. Here is a window that shows all the contents of the packaging, uh, which is just the dragon and the nearest herself. Under that... It shows that it is, in fact, Nera Stormborn of House Targaryen, the first of her name, the Unburned, Queen of Marine, Queen of the Andals, and the Roinar of the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Seas, Breaker of Chains, and Mother of Dragons. And to the left of that is the Targaryen sigil. There is a warning down here that it may contain small parts in a very small print. And to the right of that is the Funko logo. This figure is only for big kids, so if you're under 17, you are out of luck and you are not allowed to touch okay on the right side pretty plain all there is is a window showing the side of the figure and uh the legacy collection logo here's the back game of thrones logo again legacy collection and here is a portrait of Emilia clark portraying daenerys over here it shows all of the figures or just the names of the figures that are in series one Again, Janice Targaryen, and uh, some more logos, HBO, Funko, and I, I think that's a Gentle Giant. Here is the left side of the box, Game of Thrones logo again, Targaryen sigil, and Janice Targaryen with the Legacy Collection logo here again. At the top of the box is the Game of Thrones logo and a uh, Giant 5. Here is the bottom of the box, it shows some... Uh, legal information and contact information and the UPC code if any of you wanted that. Alright so now let's take her out of the box. Alright here she is right out of the box and the first thing I notice is how fragile this figure th seems. Like every time I try to articulate something it feels like I'm like gonna break it especially at the knees. So uh, while I'm here I uh, might as well go over articulation so the head spins 360 degrees uh you have a little up and down right here the hair is very pliable and uh that allows for some better poses but it also means that it could snap off like really easily uh the arms they move 360 degrees this way and 90 degrees this way you have single elbow joint right here and the hand is on a ball joint so it like kind of has a side to side movement and a 360 has a 360 degree movement on the hand okay uh legs i really don't know how to describe this uh, it just has pretty average movement I would say for an action figure up a little bit down or backwards and side that's really all you could ever want you have a double knee joint and it feels like the knees are really stiff so I'm really scared that I'm gonna break this and the foot is on 
I thought it was on swivel, but it just goes up and down. Okay, here is the dragon that she comes with, which is Drogon, which is the one that she named after Khal Drogo, after he died. Uh, he is black and red. The only red is on the wings, though. Nice detailing. It is all rubber. Uh, actually, I have no idea. If, no, it's all rubber. It's all plastic, actually. Uh, at the bottom of the feet, I don't know if you can really see that. Let me try to focus in here. Uh, doesn't seem like it's gonna work, but there are two pegs. You, you can sort of see it like that. I think that's the best I'm gonna get. But there are two pegs at the bottom of the feet, and you'll see where that comes into play later. Yeah, this, so this thing doesn't have any articulation at all, just one solid piece, but that's okay, it's not really the main reason why you would buy this. Looking at the figure, the head sculpt is actually not too bad, like, in the box, it seems really terrible, but once you have it, like, in your hands, it's not too bad. She comes dressed in her casual attire, which she wore before she conquered all those cities. So here is a look at that side. The back. And the other side. And if you pay attention, you could see that there are holes at the side or uh on the right arm and that's where these pegs on drogon can fit into so uh takes a little bit of effort and just push those in if i can get this one in all right that's the best i'm gonna get it and that is Khaleesi and Dragon. Oh, 10% battery remaining on my phone. Better end this soon. So, final thoughts. This is a pretty good display piece, but as a toy, I wouldn't really recommend it to play around with. It seems very fragile and breakable, but if you can keep it in good condition, then this is a good item to display in your Game of Thrones collection. I picked this up at Hallmark for 20 bucks. But you can find these almost anywhere that sells Funko. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Be sure to like subscribe, uh, and subscribe for future reviews. Be sure to buy my shirts. And I will catch you later. Bye.